Building high converting e-commerce website pages is one of the most crucial steps in running a successful online store. But if you're not a web designer or a developer, the process can feel overwhelming. That's where Replo comes in. Replo is a powerful tool designed to help you create beautiful and professional looking converting pages with ease, no coding required. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Replo to build pages that don't just look amazing, but are optimized to drive sales and conversions. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to create e-commerce pages that actually convert. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, I'd highly recommend getting started with Replo with the link down in the description. This is how you'll get access to a host of different discounts and deals as we do update these links regularly, and they also help support more videos like this because they are affiliate links and we could benefit from them monetarily. But without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Before we get into how to actually build the website, let's go over some of the core features that we can utilize inside of Replo and how it works. Replo is essentially a Shopify page builder. It stands out because of its focus on e-commerce specific features. While many page builders offer general design tools, Replo is designed for online stores. This means its templates, integrations, and tools are all geared towards one goal, driving conversions. One of the first things you'll notice about Replo is its library of pre-designed templates. These templates aren't just visually appealing, they're strategically designed based on industry data. For example, product pages are built to highlight key features and benefits, while landing pages are designed to guide visitors toward making a purchase. Each template can be customized to match your brand, ensuring that your store stands out while maintaining best practices for conversions. Repo's drag and drop editor is another key feature here. It allows you to customize your pages in real time, making it easy to test different layouts and designs. For instance, you can experiment with placing your add to cart button in various positions to see where it performs best. You can also add elements like countdown timers, testimonials, and product carousels with just a few clicks, enhancing your pages without needing any technical skills. Some of the practical use cases for Repo are varied, but you could do it for drop shipping and you can also use it for pretty much any e-commerce need that you can think of. With that out of the way though, let's actually start building our very first page. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you guys are definitely going to want to use the link down in the description to get started with Replo. Once you guys click that link, you should be taken to a page that looks like this. As you can see, you're going to need to create your free account with Replo, which is one of the biggest benefits about this is that you can start using Replo for absolutely free. You don't have to pay any subscription fees and there's no credit card required. So the first thing we're going to do is enter in our email and our password and then hit the create account button. Once we've created our account with Replo, this is the first page that you should be greeted with. This is Replo's dashboard. There's a couple of things I want to go over to make sure that you understand everything before you start building your page. The first, if you go to the very far left here, we'll see some important tabs that we can actually click through. The very top here is our account. We can look at adding new workplaces, we can look at our profile, or we can log out here. Up next is projects. This is where all of your projects are going to appear, and it'll show you every single e-commerce store that you're currently working on. Whether it's a brand new project or a project that you worked on months ago, everything is nicely organized here. The next tab is analytics. Now this is currently in beta right now and you do have to upgrade in order to unlock this feature. But what this does is basically give you a clear idea of some important details that you want to know about your page. Things like the overall sessions that you're having, conversions, revenue, conversion rate, AOV, and revenue per session. These are all incredibly important metrics that you're definitely going to want to know before you start making changes to your page so that way you can make smart decisions. Up next we have the experiments tab. In the experiments tab you can do just about anything here, you can create a new experiment, which basically is just creating a different type of link or a different type of page that you can split traffic to to see what works better and what converts better. These experiments can be very helpful if you're brand new to the Shopify game and you're trying to figure out what type of page works and what doesn't. Up next, we have our members tab. In the members tab, it's going to show people that are members of your workspace. That way, if you're working with a team, you can see all of your team members, what they have access to and potentially what they're working on. The next tab we have here is billing. This is how you're going to upgrade if you want to upgrade from their free plan and we'll show you some of the other options that they give to you. If we head over to the upgrade plan button, you can see that they have a few different pricing tiers that we can choose from. They have a Replo basic plan, which is about $99 a month, a Replo standard plan, which is about $249 a month, and the Replo growth plan, which is about $499 a month. Each of these plans have their own benefits, things like more published pages, depending on which plan you go with, more published sections, blog posts, and then also a couple of extra things down here, like for instance, the ability to talk to their team, full page analytics, and even a 50 k experiment monthly sessions you can contact them if you need more for that but overall these are really interesting and they give you access to a pretty wide variety of options here and i think that's pretty helpful if you want though you don't really have to upgrade anything quite yet you can start building a page for completely free without really having to purchase anything up next we have their affiliates program which you can affiliate with and start earning money on actually working with replo and then their integrations tab where you can integrate it with your shopify store and other helpful apps we can also look at the all projects tab which takes us back basically to see all of our projects 
in one centralized place. Now that we have all that out of the way, we can officially start building our very first page. What you're going to want to do is head back up to the projects tab and then head up to the top right here and click do Replo project. Once we click that, it'll then ask us a few questions. We can either connect a already existing Shopify store or create a project without a Shopify store. We can always sync that to Shopify later. We're going to go ahead and create a project without a Shopify store just to make it really easy. And then we're going to name the project. I'm just going to name this test project because this is a test. And then once I've done that, I can then hit the blue create project button. Now that I've clicked that button, it will then take me to this next page here. And we have a few more options that we can choose from. We can either create a blank page and browse their templates or even use their artificial AI intelligence software to start building a page for us. We simply give this a few pieces of information about our business and it will start building a beautiful looking high converting page completely from scratch. Now for the sake of this video and for the sake of time, I'm going to show you how to use some of their templates, which I think is where most of you are going to want to start from. We'll simply click the blue start from template button, which will take us to this page where we can start seeing all the different templates that we can choose from. Each of these templates is designed for specific types of products or specialized storefronts, so you can really have quite a bit of diversity here. Most of these templates are beautiful and they're fully functional and pretty much out of the box ready to go. The only thing you really have to change here are things like the items that they provide or specifically what's being sold on the store. I can scroll through here and see all these different templates that we can choose from. Now just for the sake of this video, I like the way that this template looks, so we're going to hit the add button. Once we hit the add button, it'll ask us a few questions that we need to fill out. The first of these is a page name, and again, you can call this just about anything. I will just call this test page. And and then that will actually come out as our URL as well. There's also the SEO settings where we can change things like the page title and have a page feature and image as well as a description. You can change these to be just about anything, but I'm going to go ahead and leave them for now. I'm then going to go down to the blue button and click create page. Once I click that button, it will officially create my page using the template. And as you can see, this is an amazing place to start. We can start editing all this super easily by simply clicking into any part of this website and then making edits as we see fit. Let's go to the very top here and show you how this works. Let's say for instance, we wanted to change the way this title looks for the sale. So they're currently running a 20% off all SBF. Let's say instead of 20%, we want the deal to actually be 50%. In order to change this, it's super easy. All you have to do is simply click into this text box, hit the backspace, and then change the number. And that's pretty much it. Like I said before, this entire drag and drop editor is extremely easy to use. You simply click into the things that you want to change and you can start changing them on the fly. It also goes the same too, where we have all these different options on the left and right that we can choose from. Just to break this down, a little bit more on the right side, this is where you're going to be doing most of your editing. And on the left side, these are the layers tab. If you've ever worked for the Adobe suite of products, you understand how layers work. And if you've never done that, just think of the layers tab as basically a collection of all of these different things that we can choose from. Whether it's our buttons, headers, hero sections, basically it breaks down everything in the order that they appear in. If we want to change this order, we simply just pick up something and drag it above another section, which basically just brings that right up to here, making it super easy to edit. If you want to go back on that, you can always hit command z and just like that it's pretty much as easy as ever to edit your website and start creating a beautiful looking shopify page we can scroll down here and see even more options and let's say we wanted to add a new section we simply go up to the top left here click the insert button and then on the insert button we can start adding whatever we can think of whether it's basic components like title text images or containers all the way down to really complicated things like buttons or even horizontal rules once you're happy with the website and how it looks you can go up to the top right and then either hit the share button or the public button. Once you hit the publish button, your website will officially be live and accessible to everybody. All you have to do now is go back and link this with Shopify and you're pretty much ready to go. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about Replo and if you're interested in getting started with them. They're definitely a great service and I'd highly recommend using them to start building your Shopify page. It just gives you so many more options than the basic Shopify store editor does. Make sure to use the links down in the description to get started with Replo and please remember that we do earn probably a small commission from that so thank you in advance for support or videos like this one hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i can't wait to see you guys in the next one